Walk the hallowed halls of the pit and listen hard, and you might just hear echoes of the greatest moments in Lobo sports, any sport. Drennan whipped it up the far right sideline to Tone. Deep three on the way. Hey, got the right wing off a of baseline screen. Deep three on the way. You bet! The Quachi transition leads for a Tone triple. Yes, and he's fouled. Foul. Anthony Mathis. Present day Lobo Anthony Mathis and his teammates know all about that storied past. But right now, they're focused on making some history of their own. Three seconds, two seconds. Deep wing three on the way for Tone. Oh! But Anthony Mathis' own story was almost history before it even began. He's an amazing story. Uh, obviously, when I got here, um, most of the team had already decided to leave and, and move on and uh, pursue other opportunities. Anthony was one of those. So I asked for my release, and I was actually going to start taking some visits because I didn't do anything really. I didn't get to play my sophomore freshman year. And I watched a lot of game film. And when I got here, I watched a lot of games um, of the team from the year before, and I just noticed his energy and enthusiasm on the bench. He wasn't playing, but his energy and his enthusiasm on the bench was terrific. And I basically told Anthony, look, if that's how you really feel, if that's who you are, your energy, your enthusiasm, in the face of whatever thing that was going on, you weren't playing, the team might have been struggling, whatever it may be, if you could bring that every single day, for me, for us, um, let's do it and do it they have for the past year and a half. Mathis, who's deadly from three-point range, is making trays so far this season at a rate of four a game. He also leads the Lobos in scoring. I've always known that he's been capable of that. It's just getting the opportunity to do it, and Coach Weir has just let him go. You know, that's Anthony's that type of player where you can't restrict him because he's gonna do like the best he can when he's in there, and so I have full confidence in him that he's gonna continue to do that throughout the year. A very unique story, but one I'll never forget just because he's such a good kid and, and for the two years that he was here and maybe things didn't quite go his way, you know, he never had a bad attitude about it, never hung his head, never did anything like that. He's, a, he's just a really high character young man. I'm really happy for him. And Anthony will tell you his Lobo story isn't complete yet. To be my last year, um, I just I just want to go out strong and uh, give these people what they really deserve, which is a good, hard-working basketball team that goes out there and plays their hearts out every single night. The pride is, is amazing. I feel like that's why I play with so much emotion on the court, you know, when I'm flexing and getting all riled up, yelling. Um, I feel like that's why I do that. It's a rush for sure. I mean, all the people yelling your name, yelling, screaming super loud, that's what I live for.